Well, known as the unofficial eighth wonder of the world, many are wondering what's next for our Astrodome, especially with so many people who are going to see it over the next few weeks for the rodeo. Yeah, it's been 15 years since the building was condemned back in 2009, and it cannot be demolished due to a state historical designation. But what should happen next to this Houston landmark? Daniela and I asked an expert, all new at 10. Take a okay. seat at these cool seats. Yeah, I got, Shall we? I got a lot of these at home, actually. You do? How many? I, I got them from every level what? in the Astrodome. It, it's, it's probably the most misinformed subject that I've ever seen in Houston. The Doma as itself was a wonder when it first opened, but it was really the things that took place in it that made it memorable. And now when you drive by and you see it and it's empty and it's sitting there, what do you think about it? Well, I think we need to solve it. You know, it's... We're in a, we're 25 years, later this year on October 9th, 25 years since the Astros last played a game there in the playoffs. And that's a long time. Why has it been so hard to f figure out what to do with the Astrodome? Because if this was Las Vegas, it would have been torn down a long time ago. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, you know, Las Vegas is uh, is an area where, where they rebuild themselves constantly. True. Um, that's, that's the environment that they're in. Uh, in Texas, it's a little bit different. You know, we have the Texas Historical Commission here, and they've uh, we went through a process where the Astrodome was designated as a state antiquities landmark. And there's a plaque out front that, that designates that. Whatever side of the dome you're on, the Astrodome literally sits in the same standard as the Alamo or the state capitol. In your opinion, like what would work? Well, I think, what type I, I think, of I think the simple uh, answer is a multi-level, uh, multi-level, multi-functional entertainment village. You grew up in Houston, Danielle grew up in Fort Bend County. I grew up not too far away in Bryan, and we, we all have memories of, of the Astrodome, the Astroworld across the street when it was there. Yeah. And so, so many people who have been in the Houston area for so long have these in, incredible memories, and there's a special place in their hearts for with the Astrodome. But you were saying earlier, in order to find a solution, you got to remove some of that nostalgia. You do, because what the Astrodome becomes in the future is going to be a, a far longer story than it was as a stadium. It really is. They built the Astrodome as multi-purpose. It should remain multi-purpose. We shouldn't really be overthinking this and trying to reinvent the wheel. You know, it, it's a circular building. It has a function. It has a very good architectural design to it. It has uh, engineering uh, in innovation in it and how it's built. It really was the first of its kind. There are so many great things we can do inside yes. the Astro. We just gotta look, clean it up a little bit, yeah. look glow up, and then, I mean, we can really it's, use it's it. It's actually in better shape than most people realize. Yes. Yeah, so many memories. We want to see something done with that. Yeah, Goodness gracious. For sure. Yeah. And by the way, we want to know what you think the Astrodome should be turned into. Is it an amusement park? Perhaps concert venue? A shopping and restaurant destination? Perhaps, well, you can give your opinion. Just head to click2vote.com right now to let us know what you think. We will share the results at the end of this newscast. And it's really interesting because it has to be something we were told, you know, that the Texans agree with, that the Houston Rodeo agrees mm -hmm. with, and that kind of blends it all together and gives the Houstonian yes. an awesome.